Hello. Today we will explain you how to use our software Safe and Carry Pro for Windows. We will use a weekly time switch from our Pro generation for the programming example. The time switch application in the example is being used to control the lighting in a parking garage where the lights are supposed to be turned on at 7 a.m. and turned off at 9 p.m. repeated daily from Monday to Friday. On weekends, no switching times are required. In the first step, let's open the program Save and Carry via the icon on the desktop or via the shortcut in the menu. After the software has started, or if the empty paper symbol in the menu bar has been clicked, the proper time switch model can be selected in the selection menu that just opened up. In our example, we will choose the weekly time switch model SC28X1 Pro and accept our selection by clicking the OK button. In order to generate the first switching command, which is in our example the switching on at 7 a.m. in the morning, we have to click on the plus symbol in the menu bar. In the window that just opened, we can first define a caption description for the switching command, such as illumination garage parking lot on from Monday to Friday. Please note that this description is only used for a better overview within the project window on our computer and will not be visible within the time switch device itself. Now we select and tick the desired channel on which the current switching command shall be applied to, in our example channel A. The preset default parameters standard and on slash off in the section type and function don't have to be changed. However, we will tick the box on if not already active. Afterwards, we select the days on which the switching command shall be active. According to our example, it would be Monday to Friday, so let's untick Saturday and Sunday only. As the last step, we have to enter the desired switching on time. In our example, it is 7 a.m. After successful input and final verification of all parameters, we can now close the programming window for the first switching command by clicking the OK button. The first switching command is now shown in the overview window of the program. In order to generate the second switching command, which is in our example the switch off at 9 p.m., which equals 2100 military time in the evening, we have to click again on the plus symbol in the menu bar. As already described earlier, we can also define a caption or description for the second switching command. Now we select and tick the desired channel on which the current switching command shall be applied to in our example, again, channel A. We keep the preset default parameters standard and on slash off in the section type and function, but now select and tick the box off instead of on. Afterwards, we select the days on which the switching command shall be active. According to our example, it would be Monday to Friday, so let's untick Saturday and Sunday. As the last step, we have to enter the desired switching off time. In our example, it is 9 p.m., which equals 2100 military time. After successful input and final verification of all parameters, we can now close the programming window for the second switching command. In the overview window, we can now see all configured switching commands. In our example, there should be two commands displayed. The overview shows the parameters, such as the selected channels, the switching function, the switching time, and the days when the commands are active. In order to transmit the project with the switching commands to the data key DK Pro, we have to click on the menu bar symbol Write Project to Data Key. 
prior to transmission, please verify if the programming adapter PP50 or PP60 are connected to your computer and also check if the DK Pro data key is plugged into the programming adapter. Once above mentioned steps are checked, the project can now be transferred to the data key by pressing the right button. After the successful transfer, the data key can be removed and plugged into the time switch. Please note that the project needs to be loaded via the menu of the time switch before use. The project can be saved on the computer for future usage. In order to save the project, click on the disk symbol on the menu bar and enter the desired project name for the file. Afterwards, click the Save button. The file is now stored in the selected folder. That's it. Have fun programming also other switching commands with our Safe and Carry Pro for Windows software.